welcome to my channel. I hope that you are having a fabulous day. I have a design team project to share for ASC Craft Supplies. They have two online stores, an Etsy and a website. I will leave links to both of those in the description box below. And I do have a coupon code, Michelle10, for 10% off your regular price purchases. And they do give free shipping if you spend $75 or more. What I have created today is this hat box and a hat easel card. And I've seen multiple tutorials on YouTube as well as Pinterest. So I just saw those and kind of came up with my own measurements. And I did create an SVG file in my silhouette software and I will try to share that but for some reason since the update with Cricut it is not keeping the measurements where they will stay in proportion so what I have done is I've created a PDF template for the circles and I'm giving the measurements for the side pieces and where you would score so you can make this if you don't have silhouette or if you don't have a cutting machine. On the top here, I used one of the cut aparts from the paper and matted it really pretty like lavender purple cardstock. And then I've put some, I had some scraps from this lace that I tucked in behind. And I used some roses from ASC Craft Supplies as well as a few from my stash. And these little stamen are from ASC Craft Supplies. They are in a large package, and they are the Heartfelt Creations, I think, Heartfelt Creations stamen package, and it's this huge pack of different colored stamen, and you get a lot. And they are this really pretty um, lavender that I chose to use on this because I thought it matched really well, and I've just tucked a lot of those in around my floral clusters here along the bottom and over here in the upper corner. And I love these little rosebuds. And I cut some purple leaves out with the silhouette. And you can't see here, but the paper, on the collages of the paper they were using, well, you can see a little bit right here, like purple leaves. So I chose to do that. And I'll just turn it up here. And then this is some lace from the shop as well. And I've just wrapped that all the way around. I just thought it was really pretty. And then on the bottom, I put some flat back pearl cabochons. And then you open, the lid comes off and you can see the hat on the inside. And we'll change my camera view so you can see the easel card a little bit better. So I've taken the hat out. Let me, whoops, turned it the wrong way. And it is an easel card, so you just lift it up and it sets like so, but I love this paper. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I loved the colors and the flowers. So I've just mimicked those once again along the brim here on this side and I've put my stamen. We'll just turn it around and I have a little bow there and I put some more lace and some ribbon there and it just rests up against the sentiment area. And I did choose to put decorative paper on the inside but I love how it came out and it is such a fun project to make and it comes together really nicely this is my project I hope that you like it make sure to ch visit ASC craft supplies and use my coupon code Michelle10 for 10% off your regular price purchases and if you spend $75 or more, you do receive free shipping. So stay tuned for my tutorial. I have all of my pieces in sections. So this is the top or the lid of the hat box, the base of the hat box, and the card. And what I want to do first is I want to go through, and for those of you who are making it by hand, I'll go ahead and give you the measurements. And for the lid of the hat, you're going to need two pieces of cardstock that measure one and one fourth by 10 and 9 sixteenth. So it's just a little bit more than half an inch. And you're going to score it at half an inch. And then on the half an inch section where you've scored all along, you're just going to cut out little V's to make your notches. Okay. And then on the long side, Oops. the long side you're going to score it at half an inch and cut it out so it has a tab at the end and the decorative pieces are a half an inch by ten and one quarter and these are for the 
hat lid or the box lid I'm sorry and the pieces for the base you're going to need two pieces of cardstock that measure let's see here two and a half by ten and a half and on the two and a half inch side you're going to score at half an inch and you're going to cut your little notches out and then you're going to turn it to the long side and you're going to score at half an inch and then you're going to cut your little tab at the end and see you're going to cut a notch out right there a section I should say and the decorative pieces for this will be one and three fourths by ten and one sixteenth and that sixteenth just makes it a little bit longer than ten inches and the worst thing that would happen if you get it too long it'll just overlap a little bit more so it's it, it'll be okay <laughs> And since I'm giving a PDF template, I'm not going to go over the circles. I'll just label them so you'll know. And for the card, you will need two pieces that measure two and a half inches wide by six and three fourths long. And on the short side, you're going to score at half an inch and at two inches. And you're going to cut notches on both sides of the half inch score piece and then you're going to turn it and on the long side six and three fourths inch you're going to score it half an inch and then you can see how I have made the tab and the decorative paper will be one and three eighths inch by six and a half and for the sentiment area which if you have a die that would make this then you would be good to go but I made this scalloped rectangle which is three and a half by two and a half and the cardstock goes in like this and fits perfectly so it's two by three and one eighth and then the white part is one and thirteen sixteenth by two and seven eighths but I would recommend if you have a die that you could cut this out and then you could use what would look well with it those are all of the pieces and like i said i'm going to attempt to make a pdf file i think i can so i will do a pdf file for the circles and then you could cut those out trace them and then cut out your decorative and cardstock so let's get started with the top of the hat box and i did ink my edges and on the pdf file and i will try to remember to do this i put a little cut line in the very middle of the circle that was larger but if you hold them like this you can see the this one is just i mean it is just a little bit smaller that way when we wrap our paper around it matches up with the larger circle and like i said it's just a little tiny bit so if you're cutting it by hand, you may not even notice it, but I will try to put larger circle or, you know, something so you will know when you're cutting those out. So I'm going to take, like I said, I'm going like this. I'm just tapping them down and it's just t probably like a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm going to take the smaller one. I'm going to go ahead and let's see. Get it the right way so i want my tabs at the top and i'm going to glue glue my decorative paper do you have a little bit hanging over here and i made my decorative pieces a little bit longer since i'm not a mathematician and figuring out how long these pieces needed to be to wrap around the circle and yes i did use some geometry <laughs> but I know they're not perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this decorative strip up right along the half inch score line and I'm just going to center it along through here like so and like this will connect to here like this I'm going to go ahead and glue the other decorative strip to the other piece and like I said, I have a little bit hanging over, but we can trim that off with scissors because I am not the best at math and that seemed, I, I'd rather do that than have it mess up. So we have a little bit there that when we attach this together, it'll glue over top. And I kind of like that 
then the seam is not all in one piece and you can't see where we've joined it together. I'm just making sure I have the right circle. And my paper has a textured cardstock, so I'm going to wrap this around like so. And before we do that, I am going to take my bone folder and just go over this. And these I've already folded them over once, so they folded over really easy this time. And I like to wrap this around like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on the tabs and I'm just going to put the tabs underneath the circle. I'm just going to put that all underneath. Make sure, make sure everything is lined up. I'm just making sure these first tabs don't pop loose. Okay. That looks good. And now we're going to take our other piece and I'm going to line it up here like th this. Whoops. So I'm going to put some glue on this tab and I'm going to put some glue on this little piece that's hanging over and just line that up. Yep. Just going to hold it. We'll put some glue on the tabs and wrap it around the circle. And then when we get over here, it looks like I may have to trim my tab a little bit. Let's see. I'm going to hold it up here. Just a slight little bit. Like so. Like I said, I'm not a mathematician, so I'm not the best at making these match up. So, and then this will go on the inside. Whoops. My tab is going to go on the inside this time. And I just trimmed that tab so it would fit nicely. And you can see here where I just trimmed a little tiny bit off the tab. And now I'm just making sure this lines up and I'm not don't pull it in or then it won't fit the base so make sure you have it nice and flush that it's laying flat like so okay and now I'm just going to fold this forward and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the tab and a little bit of glue on that decorative piece that's overlapping and I'm just going to line that up okay and that looks good so that's the top of the hat base and let's glue our decorative piece to the top circle that'll go on the lid. I'm going to glue it to the top of the lid. the top of the hat box. That's what it looks like so far. Coming together nicely. We will do the same to the bottom. I'm just going to tap my circles. So this is the larger one and it has a little cutout in the center. So you'll know that's the larger one if you're using the cutting foul. And the first thing I want to do is like we did before is glue our decorative paper onto our strips. I'm just making sure I get them turned the correct way. And my paper is textured on one side, so I want that facing out. And I think this one lays like this. And this one will sit right here. I do believe is how that goes. So we're going to go ahead and glue these down. And remember to center it between this score line and the top and butt it up against the tab score line. And as I said earlier, mine are just a little bit longer because that way I can wrap it over the seam and I think it'll make it a little bit stronger. So because then we don't have both pieces of the seam in one place. I said I have a little bit of overhang so when I put these together 
it'll overlap just a little bit right there. So now we're just going to train our paper, get it to where it'll want to form a circle. We are going to do the same thing. Just going to fold these tabs over. And we're going to put glue on all of the tabs and then just put it around the circle. Make sure that first and last tab stays in place. It wants to pucker out some. So I'm going to put glue on my tab and then I'm going to put a little bit of glue here on that piece that's longer, the decorative piece. So we're just going to line these up like so. I'm just going to go ahead and glue all the way around. And don't pull it too tight to where you're making your circle, the pieces come inwards. Line this up around this side. You need to trim this last tab off completely. And this is going to go on the inside. Then two tab in here. And then I'm going to do this side to get the extra paper. And then our lid fits on like that. So that is the box. And I forgot, we need to glue our bottom piece on and it has the notch. forgot to cut out my decorative piece for the bottom. Okay, so I went ahead and cut out a circle, a decorative piece to go on the bottom. Now, absolutely, I think this paper collection is gorgeous. And normally, I'm not a purple person. I know so many of you are. But I just love this. The colors are beautiful. So, I my edges, and I'm just going to glue this on. And of course, it would be easier, I'm sure, if you glued the decorative piece on to the outside base piece before you attach the sides. Like I said, I forgot to cut out the decorative piece. And the lid goes on like that. So we have our hat box. And let's just go ahead and break our card part down. So these are the sides. This is the decorative pieces, and here, this is the card base. So, on the PDF file, it will not have the lines, the score lines. So, you will want to score this let's see here at, I forgot to put that down on my measure. You're going to score at three inches and at five and three fourths. So basically when you cut this piece out, you'll just fold it in half, line it up, crease it, and then you will fold this, one of the circles over in half and line it up and just make your score marks. So it's just a circular easel cart is all it is. And this circle that matches the card base. You just want to, you know, if you want to double check, we are going to glue it to this portion here. I've got to figure out which one of these I was using for the base of my hat. I think it was this one. Okay, so, so we have our card base, the piece that glues here. And then my decorative piece that forms the card base. And these are the decorative inside pieces I have for my card. So I'm going to put those all there. And these two pieces 
are what forms the top of the hat. And once again, we're gonna have two or two circles and one is just a little bit larger by just probably a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and put top or you could put outside circle for the outside of it. And then the inside, the smaller one, is the one we'll wrap our tabs around. And then this is the decorative piece that goes on top of the hat. And these are our sentiment pieces here that we will just glue all of these together, like so, or you could put pop dots in between. So let's just go ahead and do our tabs in our decorative piece. We're going to do it the same way. I'm going to line it up with the half inch tab and it's just a slight overhang. So I'm not going to put glue on the very edge. And I'm using the stripe side because it coordinates with the outside of the box, I thought. With that little bit of stripe on the lid. So we're just going to line this up along that half inch score line. And I'm just centering that like so. And take and burnish this down. And we'll do the same thing to this piece. And make sure that you are putting it where your tab will line up with the flat side like that. We'll go ahead and pull this one over just to make sure it's centered, that when I lay them together, it's the decorative lines up. I'm just going to burnish it really well, and then I'm just going to rub it. I'm just going to start, you know, take the bone folder and start curving that paper. And we will take our tabs and fold them over. Actually, leave one side, you can leave one side up. This is the smaller circle. And we're just going to do the same thing we've been doing. I'm just going to wrap this around the circle. The smaller circle has a little bit more tension <laughs> than the larger ones. And you want to make sure, see how that wants to pop out just a little bit? Make sure you hold that there until it grabs. Now we'll take our other piece and I'm just going to line that up like so. Make sure we cover that tab. And when you're sliding it, it will, this purple piece of cardstock will catch with that edge where we lined it up to the half inch score mark, then you know you have it up against it completely because it will catch. Line those up. I'm going to hold that for just a little bit. Just looking to see how this side is going to match up. And I think it's going to. So I'm just going to hold the first few here. Like so. And then just wrap this around. And try not to pull it in so we have a nice circle. And put your tab on the inside. Sorry for the dogs barking. My daughter was early in bringing the grandkids over. So I think this is where I left off is we have the hat portion formed and I just need to glue the tab that is on the inside here like so. And then I'm going to put a, bit, a little bit of glue along this edge just so everything lines up. And then it just overlaps ever so slightly. And we're going to set that aside and let that dry. And we're going to take our two decorative pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and put 
I used glitter for this just to add a little bit of sparkle. And we're just going to center it down on this. What we're going to do is take it and we will, whoops, let me turn it over. <laughs> so turn the glitter side over and we're going to put it around the hat. And it is a snug fit. Like I said, it's very snug. So just be careful and pull it in. There we go. And I'm going to go around and put glue on all of these tabs. Fold these back like so, like that. And then we're just going to turn that over, making sure they're all pressed down. And then I'm just going to run my finger along the outside. And I can add the decorative piece to the top of the hat. And then we're going to glue this piece to the top of the hat. So this is the front part of the card. So I am going to glue this down and center it on the circle for that goes on the card base. We're going to take our base. We're going to take the part that has the fold. We're going to open it and trying to decide. I think I'm just going to do. Let's see. I can't decide if I want to do the seam, although you're not going to see it. I still think I like that. And I'll go ahead and put this one here and this here. And I'm going to glue this down. And I'm just going to fold this over like so. And then I'm going to decide, I think I want my flowers like this. I'm going to put glue on this section here. Turn that over and I'm going to burnish really well. I'm going to glue my sentiment area down. Then we can put some pop dots on the back of this and the back of this. And I'm going to figure out where I want this to catch or to sit. And I think I want it right about here. And then that will catch. And this fits right in there. And I'm just going to put glue all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to put this. And I want my flowers like this right here. So I'm going to center that. That is our easel hat card. Thank you for watching the tutorial. If you have any questions, just put it in the comments section below and make sure to visit ASC Craft Supplies. I'll leave their links in the description box below and use my coupon code Michelle10 for 10% off your regular price purchases. And if you spend $75 or more, you receive free shipping. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.